Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Steph and today we have another very exciting video because I'm going to be introducing to you yet another brand new indie brand, this one from France and that is Nakis Beauty. Nakis Beauty is run by a very beautiful lady called Naomi. Now Nakis Beauty is so new that as I'm speaking there is no website as yet so you do need to order through Instagram DM and while that might sound like a scary process my personal experience is that it went extremely smoothly. Um, Naomi checked it every stage. It was a very very positive experience for me. And in this video I am going to be trialling out some new eyeshadow brushes that I picked up from Makeup by Tammy. They came in this beautiful little bag here, just make sure you can see that, very pretty. And all of the brushes have this handle, very beautiful, and they all say Makeup by Tammy on the silver here no names, no numbers, so I don't need to try and remember to say what brush I'm using um, whilst I'm digging into the eyeshadow. So without further ado, let's get into this. Firstly, I'm going to show you the palette, which is so exciting. This is the outer packaging, um, absolutely beautiful. I love this packaging, it is gorgeous. So let's take it out of the sleeve. And this is the palette itself. This is the first palette that Nakis Beauty has brought out. So very exciting. Let's open her up. And we do have the protective sheet, which I shall also take out. I'm holding that very awkwardly. Now, these colours, oh my god. This is me in a palette. For those of you who do know me, 100% me in a palette. There is blue, green, purple, yellow, orange. I am in love and I can't wait to get into this. So firstly, for you, I'm going to swatch all of these shades. I will be starting up at the top left. Excuse the chipped nails. I was up all night with nightmares and I'm so tired, but I was too excited to wait. So excuse that. Um, I will be starting up at the top left here and working my way along and then the second row and then the last row so let's get into this okay so i'm gonna try and swatch this so you can see i suck at swatches i'm terrible but here goes and the first color is this wow wow can you <laughs> look at the pigment there is this beautiful pink and then Secondly, oh wow, there's some pigment in these shades, beautiful orange, and then we have this really lovely peach, oh, a little bit powdery, but that's quite common for a yellow, please excuse my dog, she's extremely excited about something, not got a clue what. Right, so the second row, we have first this red, which, wow, that's a really nice red, a really nice red. And next we have, ooh, that pink I think is like more of a, a softer pink than this extremely bright one. And then, ooh. We have this red, which is more of a deeper red. And this beautiful blue. So that blue is more of like a satiny with some sparkle. Very pretty. And the last row we have, I'm running out of space on my arm here, so it's a good job we're on the last row. This really lovely kind of sea green. I don't know how else you'd describe that colour. Beautiful. And then this really beautiful kind of grass green. And this blue here. I hope you can see what I'm doing beautiful and lastly 
we have this purple i'm so sorry i'm terrible at swatches so lastly we do have this really nice purple which is another shimmer shade so yes these are the colors very impressed with the pigment on them so far i would usually go for greens and blues but i think i'm going to start out with this yellow here possibly going to the orange and one of the pinks and then a red we'll see how we go so firstly dipping into that yellow there's a little bit of kick up in the pan but that is absolutely fine so let oh Okay, I have primed my eye before starting, so I do want to take that quite high up because I do want it to really stand out. And I haven't done a completely matte look for quite a while, so I think today we are going in with a completely matte look. Now I do know with these lighter colours that they show up better on a white base but I don't have one at the moment so we are working with what we've got. So just using the same brush I've just used my colour switch I think we're going to dip into this this one here <laughs> this beautiful orange. Now, unfortunately the shades don't have names but it's the first palette so This is a beautiful shade, blends very nicely, just placing it next to that yellow, very nice colour. So I need to decide the next colour do I want, which pink do I want? I think I'm going to go in with this pink here. Let's see what happens there. Mm. That's a really nice pink. Again, very sorry for my dog. Yeah, I really like that pink. That looks beautiful. I'm loving this. I'm like a rainbow. And lastly, I think we're going to go into this red here. If it's not deep enough, I can always add a bit of the deeper one. No, I think that is exactly what I was looking for. That's beautiful. Can you see what I'm doing here?
So I'm just going to go back in with all the colours we've already used just to intensify them a bit more. Um, so I feel like I've blended them out a bit, although saying that, maybe not. But we're still going to go in with a bit more just to see what we can do. Wow. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. And I am loving this look so far. I do like to be a rainbow. Just going back in with the orange. Just overlapping that a little bit with the yellow to blend it in. That's a really nice orange. I am having absolutely no issues with these shadows so far. I'm very impressed. Um, for a first eyeshadow palette, this is beautiful. The packaging, the colours. And then lastly, just going back in with that red we used. Well, I do have to say I'm loving this look so far. So what I'm going to do is find a, a big fluffier brush from this set. Just to fluff out the edges. That's looking a lot better. So let's try this little brush here to go underneath. So what colour do I want? Colour, colours? Um, so just trying to work out what colours to put under my eyes. Um... Let's try and do the same as we did on the upper. So we're just going to go in with that red first. And just a little bit just to bring that there. I'm just going to try and mimic what I've done on the lid underneath. And then just going to go back in with the pink next, just the same as we did on the top. And then the orange. <laughs> and then lastly going in with that yellow. I'm going to bring that all the way round just to connect that to the top there. Just 
just going to take this fluffy brush here from the same set and just poke myself in the eye apparently. Uh, just fluff out these edges. So that's the eye look finished for now. I'm going to head off camera, finish my face and I will come back with you to discuss what my thoughts were on this very beautiful palette. I'm back. What do you think? I've finished my face. I'm loving these colours on my eyes. Um, before I get into my thoughts on the palette, I am just going to let you know what else I've put on my face. So I do have this blush here from e.l.f. It's in the shade Brilliant Mauve. I've used the Ofra highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. In my waterline, I couldn't resist some green. I'm so sorry, but green's my favourite. And I thought it would go with this look too. So I've used the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Go Green. The eyeliner I've used is this one by e.l.f. The mascara is the W7 Flirty Eyes. On my lips I have the Profusion Metal Matte Lip Cream in the shade Metal Peach. And my eyelashes are the ones from Makeup by Lisa. Come in this and they are in the Style Raven. So, on to this beautiful palette. My thoughts so far... I'm in love with it. I love the pigment. I had no issues at all with blending. So my first impressions of this are really, really good. For a first palette especially, this is outstanding quality. The colours are beautiful. It's me in a palette. <laughs> um, I love the packaging couldn't think of the word then. Um, I love the packaging of this. I love the fact that you've got a mirror. Um, the yellow is just beautiful. A bit powdery, but yellows tend to be powdery anyway, so not worried by that. There was such minimal fallout. I literally only had a couple of specks under my eyes. And uh, yeah, so extremely, extremely happy. So far I would highly recommend this. I am so in love and I can't wait to try some more looks. So you will definitely be seeing some more looks coming up with this palette soon and I look forward to see what comes next. So that's it from me today. I hope you've liked what you've seen. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. And I am on Instagram. It's not your basic step. So go ahead and follow me on there too. So from me for today, it is goodbye. And I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.